So we've got three e-buggies. These are the e-buggies that we made completion videos of, and we're going to compare them. Then we're gonna weigh them, and we're gonna throw them on the track and get a few laps with them. So what we've got is the Techno, and we've got the Mugen, and this is the Team Associated. And kind of just looking at them superficially, you can see how much slimmer this Techno is um, in its chassis. It's really slim and streamlined here. The uh, Mugens uh, got a little bit wider in the front, or not in the front, but it's just a little bit wider. And then the Team Associated definitely is also. And you see it has the dual battery setup. You can though configure it with a single battery. The uh, Techno's got the C-Hub front end, where the pillow ball on the Mugen and the team associated. And we failed to mention this with the Nitro comparison, but the Techno also is using, using universals. And then on the Mugen, it's got CVDs and so does the team associated. Let's do the AE car first. Overall, 3179, 3180. Let's do the Mugen next. A little lighter, 3161, and the Techno. Thirty-one twenty-four. Look at the weight bias on that. Forty-six to fifty-four. Single for us or it's um it's worth pointing out too that a lot of that weight is varies depending on what electronics you use. Like this Mamba X is a, a bit smaller and lighter than the big old hobby wing here. So these weights are pretty superficial. It's just how these cars are right now in their configurations. Okay, I don't think I need to drive this car anymore to say that it's this is the best car I've driven on this track so far. It's super easy to drive. It doesn't feel very powerful at all. It's soft, so I'm not sure if maybe just his motor set up or what's going on there. So Ed just told us that he had the power turned down quite a bit. So we've put the power back up to 100. Let's try again. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's still it's still really easy to drive. More power just uh, puts more responsibility on me as the driver now, and uh, it felt really good. It the techno feels really good too. Um, it feels really balanced out there. It's hooking up well compared to the Mugen. They, they both feel really, really easy and comfortable to drive. So let's try the Team Associated. Yeah. 
pushing it harder than the last yeah. two. Is that because you feel like you can? Yeah, it's just, uh, well, just having a little bit of practice. Um, having a little bit of practice with the other two cars got me a little bit comfortable. And this car feels pretty dang good, too. I like the power delivery. It feels a little bit better in this car. Maybe it's the transmitter. Maybe it's the ESC and motor. This car, it's got more steering. <laughs> Easy, right? Yeah. All right, uh, I. It's pretty easy to drive. Team Associated car definitely has a whole lot more steering, though. Um, feels like it's driving that rear end around a little bit more, which I'm sure you can tune. It definitely feels more powerful. The electronics in that thing have got some oomph. It's super smooth. Now, it's been a couple of days since we went and filmed that, and looking back at it, you know, we had one C Hub car and two Pillow Ball cars, and usually, Pillow ball cars are gonna have more steering. They're gonna, the front end's gonna drive that rear end around a little bit more. Um, like I mentioned in the end of the nitro comparison video, uh, you can tune a pillow ball car to be more like a C-Hub car and you can tune a C-Hub car to drive more like a pillow ball car. Now, of those three cars, they were all on the box stock setup except for the Mugen. It had a Drake setup on it and it did feel the most comfortable to drive. The front and rear felt really balanced. It was easy to drive and yeah, it felt really great. The Techno though with the box stock setup felt maybe just a couple of degrees less comfortable, but it was really easy to drive and it offered more steering. The Team Associated car in that box stock setup had even more steering than the Techno, but it was still pretty manageable. It was still all right. It was set up and felt a whole lot better than the Nitro Buggy did on the box stock setup. All three cars felt really good though. I mean, the differences between them, I would say is probably pretty small and all in a matter of setup. One thing that did stand out though is the electronics in the AE car are proper hobby wing ESC and race grade motor, the 2200 KV. You can see what's in these cars if you go watch the completion videos, but those electronics and perhaps the transmitter to go along with it felt really smooth. They felt smooth, they felt powerful. It was really manageable. I felt like that power was within my control. And the castle systems in the other car are really good systems. Maybe not race grade systems, but you definitely could. I don't know if newbies starting out would even feel a difference. I don't think it would really matter, but I could tell and that was kind of surprising. Overall, they're all really good cars and uh, this was a lot of fun to do. It's a lot of work to get cars built like this and get them in people's hands and get them all set up, but we'd like to do more of it in the future. Leave us a comment, give us some feedback. You wanna see more stuff like this? You know, what other cars should we include? What else should we do with them to compare them? Let us know down below and we'll check it out. Thanks.